Hey guys, it's Pan. Um, I know I haven't posted in a while. I'm just gonna forefront this video by saying smoking's bad. Um, but I've been doing a lot of stuff recently. Sorry for the traffic noise. Um, but I've been watching a lot of videos and reading a lot more and doing a lot of stuff involving my spirituality but not necessarily my coven um which the main reason of this channel in general was to teach my coven without them having to be there because one of our um my coven sisters she uh she's going to school full-time and working one or two jobs i'm not sure um but I've realized that I've been stressing over um, my spirituality. And I've been looking into other pantheons, other deities, and that sort of thing uh, for my own uh, practice and such. Goodness, it's bright out here. It actually just rained this morning, and everything is all wet, so I'm, like, sitting on a coat on top of a bench. Um, Hi, Max. Hello, Max Whale. It's quite familiar. Um, right. You just look at me like, what are you doing? Play with me. Um, but there's been some family stress. There's been some work stress there's been all this and I'm trying to find sanctuary in my practice in my um, in my spiritual growth but then I'm finding myself stressing over that too um, because though I run this coven it's because only because one I kind of founded it Along with uh, my best friend and his ex-girlfriend, who's no longer part of our company. Max. What? Attention, whore. Look at him. What do you want? What are you sniffing? Also, my grass needs to be cut. Um. <laughs> but I found myself stressing over getting the grim the grimoire for the coven exactly perfect and having my own personal grimoire be exactly perfect and um, doing things correctly and how everyone on the internet says it has to be and, and then I realized that wait it's my spiritual journey right um, so I'm going to be posting a couple more videos probably assuming I remember to um, by the way I like the tie-dye yes tie-dye and camouflage yes um, Jamas. So, um, but, ah, dropping my camera. Um, so, I've been trying to slow down. Take, take a step back. Because I'm one of those that has to be perfect. And I'm like, no, no it doesn't. It has to be how I like it. Okay. Or how it feels comfortable to me. How it helps me get in touch with deity and nature and that sort of thing. With my spiritual path. Um, recently, I've been doing a lot of the kids craft camp that we have at my work. Um, I've been running that. Oh, speaking of running. Hi. Sam. He, he will sprint around the backyard it's kind of funny so um i'll be posting some of that for you guys um i now have two partners um oh sorry about the paint under my nails here i've been painting today i painted a page in my grimoire um that was a song were song lyrics um of a song that gets me in the witchy mood you know um the song is Into the Night by Chad Kroger? Krager? <coughs> what? Max knows I got the name wrong. Um, but it's a really, really cool song. Um, 
Sorry about my lips being ridiculously pink. I just had uh, purple lipstick on. So they look like I'm still wearing lipstick, but I'm not. Um, but I've been, even though I am trans and I am, you know, a guy in most respects, I've been tapping into the femininity, femininity in me. Um, when people say, oh, you're a guy, but you wear all these bracelets and all this girly stuff. And your point? Like, um, by the way, all I can see on my screen right now is the reflection of my pentacle here. I actually got this at the Renaissance Festival near me, the one in Holly, Michigan Renaissance Festival. I used to work there for a little bit. Um, unfortunately, because of my wife passing away, I had to quit. Um, but it's been almost five years since then. Um, so I'm also working getting over that still. Um, I've been working with trying to contact her from the other side. Um, kind of tell her, hey, I know I have new partners, but I still love you. I still care for you. Um, she was also uh, Wiccan, Pagan. One of the two. One of the whatever. So, religion helped. My religion helped me. My path, I should say. It's not really, well, it's a religion, but it's, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Um, that's helped me through that and getting my life together getting my financial security intact and that sort of thing but I'm going to be posting more videos of you know, my altar my grimoire my spiritual practice how I communicate with deity um, usually it's through my adornments or through, you know, what I'm wearing, um, what I, uh, like, I have a couple half sleeve tattoos that are planned, um, being my, I want to call them my matron and my patron deities, but I haven't gotten to know them well enough, and I need to do that a little more. Um, the matron being Gaia. Uh, Mother Earth, that sort of thing, and the patron being Pan. So, trying to get back in touch with nature itself. Um, if it doesn't rain anymore today, I'm planning on going on a walk through the park, probably with Max, um, mostly because he hasn't been for a WALK in a while. Um, then again, he doesn't really react to the, the word walk, so... Now, if you say ding, oh, 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 you think there's food, huh? He's gotten accustomed to us yelling across the house, ding, when food's done. Um, kind of mimicking the sound of a microwave, I guess. Um, but getting in touch with that, getting in touch with, you know, my deities, um, my spiritual self. Up oh, there goes Max. Someone ran by the house. <laughs> we live right by a park, so we get quite a f bit of foot traffic um, down the side, the, the side of the main road here. Um, getting into nature more, and it's not really getting into nature more, because um, like one of my newfound favorite YouTubers, um, Molly Roberts has said we're not in like we don't go to nature we are in nature and all you know everything um yes i understand you know you don't feel as connected with the god or goddess when you're sitting in your ha your room for the you know how many hours have i been doing that today um but i've been working on coming out here and when i'm reading my books laying out in nature um, usually I set down a blanket and Max comes and harasses me and come play, come play, you know. Um, what are you doing? He's sniffing at something on the side of the porch here. Max! <whistles> hey, Dipsy Doodle. This plate there, yo. Yeah, I set out an offering for, um, for, uh, blah, 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 what was the last thing we did? Beltane, Beltane. Um, 
because my coven, we didn't meet on Valentine. We met the weekend after. But yeah, just an update. Uh, I will be posting more videos. Um, it won't be like the other ones that I've done where it's all structured and it's all presentations and blah because I don't have a computer to do that anymore. But it will be a lot of me exploring my spirituality and to some extent sexuality. Um, because one of the gifts that I believe the gods gave us is the ability to feel pleasure from sexual intercourse and from other things like pleasure from eating good food, pleasure from um, laying in a comfortable bed, you know, pre uh, pleasure in being with those that we care about. Um, so that sort of thing. Just me getting back in touch with spirituality. Um, so this has been a lot of rambling. And I gotta go back in. The dog is... I don't even know what the dog is doing. Sniffing at something. Uh, um, but yeah, so I will be posting more. Um, and I'll probably put a link into... Um, if I, you know... If he has one anymore, I know um, my uh, one of my coven brothers, uh, Loki, just um, started his own YouTube and all that. Well, he's had his own YouTube, but it's all been like cosplay stuff. But I want to see if uh, he has any like spiritual stuff or any of that. If so, I'll provide links later. Um, I also have a blog going now. Um, it's uh, witchywickenboy.tumblr.com. Um, Tumblr's just easiest for me to work with. I haven't tried Blogspot or anything like that. Um, mostly just because I don't have a computer right now, like I said. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get back into things. I'm going to try and get some of the Coven members on here. And um, try to figure out what the hell I'm doing with my hair. Like, I've got like this weird, like, natural oh. color, purple, like this stripe of purple. And then goldish pink to pink? I don't know. I don't know. Bro! Bro! What are you looking at me for? They're looking at you. They see you. He's like, what? Who? But um, this video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to go and um, see you guys later. Let's be.